My message for educators today is a message of hope and optimism. I firmly believe that every child can learn and succeed in an environment that fosters creativity, rigor, critical thinking, and open-mindedness. Education is the true equalizer, and anyone who enters this profession has the capacity to change lives for the better. My name is Sonia Aramburo. I am an immigrant to the United States and a product of the public school system. I am a wife and a mother of two wonderful teachers. I am fortunate enough to be the principal at Mary Chapa Academy in Greenfield, California, where I am able to give back to English language learners from backgrounds similar to my own. Education has always been a part of my life. After graduating from the University of the Pacific, I started working in the court systems. My experience in the court gave me insight into what happens when people grow up without a solid foundation. I decided to switch over to education, where I could be on the proactive side of helping people. Seven years ago, I came to Vista Verde Middle School in the Greenfield Union School District to serve as an assistant principal. As AP, I saw a reoccurring theme in the area of discipline. Many of the students who were sent for disciplinary issues had low levels of literacy, even though they had been enrolled in our district since kindergarten. In 2010-2011, Greenfield Union School District was assigned a state trustee to oversee all academic learning. When the state trustee asked if I wanted to serve as principal of Mary Chapa Literacy and Technology Academy, a K-1-2, or El Camino Real Science and Technology Academy, 345, I requested Mary Chapa. I came to Mary Chapa in May, just after the CSTs were completed. As the fifth principal that year, I had the challenge ahead of me. Our API at the time was 597, one of the lowest performing schools in California and in the district. That summer, during a professional development that I attended with our teachers, our coach, and I got together to create a plan of action. We established school-wide behavioral goals school and school-wide systems. We created non-negotiables, shifting from a teacher-centered approach to a student-centered approach. We daily taught our students the Kodiak Code of Behavior and created school-wide call and response for classroom management. We held weekly professional meeting, development meetings, and we provided teachers with all the necessary materials. Our program is innovated because it allows for a school climate that fosters creativity, imagination, and individuality, while still giving students the academic foundation they need to succeed. After the first year, our API rose from 597 to 707 to freeze and program improvement. The next year, our API rose from 707 to 810 to exit PI. The following year, as a school improvement grant school, we were invited to apply for a Turnaround Arts Initiative through Turnaround Arts California. We applied and we were one of 10 schools to receive the initiative. That spring, the superintendent and I were invited to the White House by First Lady Michelle Obama to attend the first national talent show. As a Turnaround Arts School, our district agreed to have a full-time music teacher. In June, two staff members and I attended the first Turnaround Arts National Conference. At the conference, we were involved in engaging workshops such as harnessing the power of the arts, a crash course in turnaround arts, bucket drumming, a task party, teaching through tableau, and the art of careful observation. It was truly the most engaging conference that we had ever attended. In the fall, Turnaround Arts California came to visit our teachers to provide our staff in the crash course of Turnaround Arts, where we all learned about using tableau in the arts. In November, our ambassador to the arts, Hall of Fame drummer Chad Smith, came to visit Mary Chapa. I would like to take a minute for you to view his welcome back video for our students for this year. Hey, Mary Chapa Kodiaks, it's Chad Smith here, your ambassador for Turnaround Arts. 
I hope you had a great summer. You're going to have a great year this year. It's going to be so fun. You know you learn better. Everything happens better when you have arts and music involved with your school. I love seeing you guys. I'm going to be there this year. I'm going to come up and visit you guys. But have a great, 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 great year. And this is the beginning of something really exciting for you guys. I can't wait to see you. Have so much fun. And, uh, you know, let's do a little bit of this. He first visited classrooms and then provided an assembly where he performed along with Miss Chadwick's third grade class and our music teacher, Christopher Lopez. Our district agreed to provide our school with a music teacher as part of Turnaround Arts. Chad Smith came again in February to work with our cast on the Disney's musical Jungle Book Jr. Through Turnaround Arts, we have created partnerships with the Monterey Arts Council, the NAM Foundation, Musical Theater International, George Rodriguez Foundation, and the Monterey Symphony. We also have created partnerships with PS Arts, and this year, Little Kids Rock and the Sunset Center came on board. At Mary Chapa, we now embed the arts into all common core curricular areas. An artist coach through the public school's arts provides grade level support for the implementation of arts integration. Also, students receive instruction from our full-time music teacher in the areas of instrumental, vocal, visual, and performing arts. Our students are involved in project-based learning and are able to use 21st century skills to solve problems. Our students are ready and eager to learn and the enthusiasm at Mary Chapa is infectious. In July, Mary Chapa Academy applied for a community engagement grant to establish an on-site Mary Chapa Academy Performing Arts Center. Pilar Mendoza was hired to teach family dance classes and Sandra Gray will be teaching the visual arts classes. The grant also allowed us to purchase risers for choral productions and mirrors for our dance classes as well as our musical productions. In October, the Mary Chapa All-Stars, our Kodiak rock band, and our folkloric group performed and participated in the Greenfield Harvest Festival sponsored by Greenfield Cultural Arts Center and First Night Monterey. We also participated in a collaborative with the City of Greenfield to bring back the Halloween Parade. All students from Greenfield schools were invited to join us for a Halloween Parade. The community, police, and city officials, school officials and crossing guards, parent liaisons, and even our Little League parents came together to join our students march down El Camino Real to La Plaza Bakery and back to Mary Chapa Academy. Next year, we hope to extend the parade to the Veterans Hall, where we will meet afterwards for a fun-filled harvest festival sponsored by our PTAs for our students. This year, we have more than doubled our music offerings available to our students. In addition to last year's Guitar Club Rock Band Music, we are now offering three new courses to our highest performing ELD students a choir, a percussion ensemble, and a drama club that meets in the mornings. Also, we are hosting two sections of guitar, an after-school choir, and a dance club that all rehearse after school. Finally, independent of our programming during the day, our after-school program has become more involved in the arts as well. We have just applied for our second community engagement grant. Our intention is to continue to work with MAC to accomplish this project. Through them, we have found Guillermo Guillermo Aranda, a local muralist to help execute our vision. Because of his extensive experience in painting murals and his longtime successes as an art educator in this field, we have found that he is our best option for this particular project. Yedmo will be working along with local artists and our students. Yedmo will guide our school from the beginning to the final painting stage. Our vision is to create a mural that is powerful yet calming for our families to enjoy and feel at ease when they are on our campus. Finally, 
We welcome new partnerships who will be working with our school, the Sunset Center, Little Kids Rock, the Western Stage, and the Big Sur Land Trust. Every school is unique, and there is no one formula that equates to success. All I can say is that creating an environment where students are excited to be at school and eager to learn is what it's all about. I am Sonia Aramburo, and thank you for watching this episode of McKate Talks. If you would like more information about the ideas presented here, please contact your County Office of Education or visit www.mckate.org for related links. You may also visit our school website at greenfield.k12.ca.us and look for Mary Chapa under Our Schools. Gracias and thank you for watching.